Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Chad. This week I forgot all of my textbooks and paperwork and everything that basically I needed to do this video, so I'm gonna do it out of this manga. Alrighty. What do we study this week? So in the Haysig method, I got to 375, which is 10 short of where I wanted to be, but what can you do? I'm lazy if I am anything. And then in the Genki books, we got to chapter 21 and 22, which 21 we did half of last week, we finished a half this week, and we uh, got to the end of chapter 22 by Friday, which was a nightmare. Since I'm reading out of a manga, not my textbook this week, I won't give you exactly what we studied, however, I'm sure you own the book. And then also, like always, we do the vocab for that chapter, which I think in chapter 22 is 55 words and phrases. Don't quote me. If you've learned anything from this channel, never quote me on anything. As per class, it was fine-ish. There were a lot of days where I was extremely tired, but I, I mean, nothing that's like unbearable. It, it wasn't like how last week was where I was frustrated with the actual class. It was just more or less me being tired and kind of zooming in and out of focus, but I kind of have to focus really hard now because the entire Genki 1 book uh, test is coming up here soon, and if I don't figure that out, well, that, that's not good for me. By the way, you might notice the change in scenery. I just got done filming a videos for Journey's English School, and I am currently in the uh, open room thingy-majig, which also doubles as the Genki Jacks, I guess, open room thingy-majig. But even though class was okay, um, I had a really good experience uh, actually, here, uh, I was helping a friend of mine who is in, uh, still in the Genki 1 book, and he's like, hey, can you help me out? And I, I started to look at what he was asking for help on, and it was a really cool experience because what he was asking for help on was what I, what almost made me quit learning Japanese. It was like the stuff involving the early te form stuff, so learning how to conjugate te form, te moi, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, and he was having a hard time with that and coming back and realizing that not only it, it's not like a conscious knowledge I have, but it's like become sub Yeah, and just being able to see like how far I've come since that happened. It's It's really cool and I remember because he told me about a, a frustration that he was having was like he just wants to understand like sentences He doesn't want to understand just these individual words that he knows he wants to understand sentences and it's a big frustration and then I kind of think of where I'm at right now, which is understanding sentences, but there's all this, you know, infrequently used or special words. So it's almost the opposite that I don't understand. And it's just as frustrating. Like frustration stays throughout the entire journey, but it's different types of frustration if that makes any sense to you. So I don't know, I guess I just kind of learned because of that to maybe be a little bit nicer on myself. Maybe I'm more enlightened than I anticipated. This is, my, this is my enlightenment hat. Also this week, so I started my job search and I'm on a student visa so I'm allowed to work, I just don't have a job here. And I applied at a whole bunch of places and dif did a whole bunch of different things thanks to some friends of mine, but uh, uh, I got an offer that almost immediately got retracted. Not because of me, it wasn't my fault, I promise. It was, um, I put on my application that I'm on a student visa, I can only work a certain amount and that I was seeking part-time employment. And the offer, maybe they didn't read that, I don't know, but they uh, unfortunately retracted it because they were looking for a full-time position. So, what can you do? Also, I saw I have a, a nice fatty check coming from Google here pretty soon. So I will be uh, buying more lighting and, and uh, a couple other things that I would like. I want everything I kind of get, I just more or less reinvest into the channel because I very much enjoy this. So expect some, you know, kind of nicer things coming out here in the future. Uh, also, you can expect, I don't know, maybe some outtake videos of stuff. I'm helping a, basically an Akaiwa shoot like a promo video, and there's a lot of ridiculous stuff coming. So just be expecting maybe some clips and, and tidbits here and there. Oh, uh, this is, okay, so now I guess we're into channel news. That's about my week anyways, but let's do channel news. So the stream's coming up. I still have to figure out how to stream. I still have no freaking idea what I'm doing, so hopefully this doesn't like blow up in my face, but there's a good chance I'll be doing it here because they have great internet here. Take off my enlightenment hat. They have good internet here and I 
would like to stream in high quality. So um, that'll be coming up once I hit 2,000 subs. I will announce when it'll be. I'll give you guys a week's notice. Uh, and then we will do it. It's looking like I'll probably hit 2,000 probably by Monday or Tuesday of this week. So it'll probably be sometime next week. Also, I'm planning a summer trip with a friend of mine who I will not name because I've not asked her if it's okay if I name her on this channel. Uh, we are going to a whole bunch of places. I better make sure I get this right. So we are going to Hiroshima, Nara, Isejingu, and Osaka. We're going for a week. Um, and I'm going to be filming all of it. And it'll be split into probably five different videos. So be expecting a lot of travel videos this summer. And expect me to look very sweaty and hot and uncomfortable because that's I will be all of those things. It's nice because the school's giving me a month long break. So during that break, what should I film? What should I make videos on? What, sh what, tickles, what tickles your fancy? <laughs> you want to say hi? This is this is going out to about twenty thousand people. <laughs> yeah. What do you what do you no come on, come on shot? Come on. It's fine. What are they gonna say? No? They don't have a choice. Oh. They're gonna watch a little bit. Interview. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. Say hi, this is twenty thousand people. Twenty thousand people. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you too? Yep, me too. <laughs> These are some of the Aikaiwa students yeah. that are here and I was helping make the video for, so uh -huh. Nice, nice to see them again. Anyways, I'll end the video on that high of a note. If you guys like the video, be sure to like it down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, compliments, be sure to leave them in the comment box. I always answer them as you guys know. Also, don't forget, if you like this video, check out all my other videos. I'm funny sometimes. My mom says I'm incredibly special. And if that's true, you should think it too. Check out my other videos. If you like them, be sure to subscribe for two new Japanese videos every single week directed straight at your face. Right? <laughs> okay. Right. He says it's okay. That's about it. I will see you guys on Wednesday.